Good morning, welcome to the vlog. It's Monday today. That's strange. Monday again, but I am just back from the gym not long ago. Sorry, I felt like I needed to sit down. Cause I was at the gym for two hours today. <laughs> and then I came home and I just did a couple of like transformation video sort of things so that I can take stills and compare them to 2018 me because that's when I started this journey and then I kind of did it for like a couple of weeks. And then I quit and then I started up again in 2020 and then I stopped again. <laughs> so it's just been a big start and stop. But uh, I'm happy that I took those pictures and videos and things. And uh, yeah, it's already, I wish I knew what time it was. I don't have my watch on, where's my watch? It's already uh, nearly one o'clock and I need to get started. Are you school with? I, th I feel like you're school with. So the plan today is pretty much just a chill day. It's not at all. I need to clean and tidy the whole house. I do that on a Monday usually just to kind of get the week set up for good. I cleaned this room and I filmed it. So if you would like a clean with me video, like a whole clean with me video then I will make it but it will probably be a little bit weird because even though it takes me the same amount of time to clean every Monday and I do it every Monday the, the whole top to bottom thing I have recorded some last Monday and today so it's kind of like I'm in a different outfit <laughs> I have a different colour of hair <laughs> um, so I don't know if uh, that's gonna be good or not and like I don't know how to film it. I also am trying to figure out how to edit my wardrobe at declutter video because uh, half of that disappeared and I couldn't find it so I don't know how to edit it and uh, whether to film new bits as well because I've added some bits to my wardrobe and taken away some bits to my wardrobe as well uh, and I don't feel like I showed it very well in the video so there's a lot of moving parts to that I don't know I, I kind of want to refilm it again but I can't because I've already gotten rid of all of the clothes that I said I was going to get rid of in that video so I don't know we'll need to see um, but yeah that's just basically the plan is to tidy and hoover and deep clean the house today and then go for a weekly shop because that's what I do on a Monday I obviously don't really film outside of here I don't do that but I guess I was gonna say if you want me to I will but I just really don't want to bring a big bulky camera to Aldi and put it in my trolley and then forget it <laughs> and also I don't think that uh, I want to film on my phone anymore my phone is for my phone stuff and my camera is for my filming stuff anyway this is a long intro to this vlog I hope that you're all doing well uh, tell me in the comments below, hold on. We're focusing on self-care this week. Uh, I don't know why or if we are really, but I just want you to make sure that you're taking care of yourself. So tell me something in the comments below that you are doing to give yourself some self-care. Oh, I'm gonna go take some allergy medicine because it seems like I'm allergic to something I keep sneezing for self-care. No, uh, I'm gonna have a bath this week at some point. And just tune out. I've been struggling with uh, just switching off and having time to myself even though I get Monday to Friday during school and work hours to myself but I feel like those hours are being used to work and worry about other people and obviously do the housework and all that stuff so we'll see but I need to stop talking right now because I'm having another sneezing fit and it's not funny I can't concentrate. Good morning, it's Tuesday and yesterday was a bit of a bust. Wow, this is really heavy. <laughs> yesterday was kind of hard. I really was beating myself up about not doing enough and then I told Matt what I did during the day because we obviously, when I pick him up from work, we have the conversation of how was your day and I told him all I did and he was like, that sounds like a lot. <laughs> and I was like, oh, okay, because I went to the gym for two hours and I went food shopping and I uh, went to another shop for him and then I obviously put all that away and 
I cleaned our bedroom and hoovered it and I tidied up the whole house and did the dishes, did a load of laundry. <laughs> so I did do stuff but I just felt like I didn't do anything that I wanted to do for the channel or for art or for anything like that. So I feel like when I don't get to do things uh, for the channel or for like video wise or like business wise, I just feel like I've wasted the day. But usually on a Monday I end up tidying the whole house anyway, it's just that I didn't get the full house cleaned completely. So yeah. <laughs> it is snowing really badly outside. I hope that it doesn't get too bad because I hate driving in the snow. We woke up to so snow this morning and then while I was at the gym it was sunny the whole time and then I drove home and then it started snowing again. So. Not sure how that's gonna work. I also wanna film a couple of videos. Tomorrow I'm gonna have like a mega filming day. My hair is like really greasy looking today even though I washed it yesterday. So I'm gonna have a nice filming day tomorrow after the gym and that'll be cool. I still haven't even finished editing my studio vlog yet. I was supposed to put that up last Monday and then I didn't so I was gonna put it up this Monday but I ended up not doing that either so I have no idea. I am gonna, I'm gonna go and see what's what with this and uh, figure it out so I hope that you uh, will enjoy Wednesday's video or did enjoy it because obviously that goes up before this one. We're in panic stations today. I am just back from the gym. I was there for two hours and I am sweaty. I need to go for a shower but I thought that I would cook my lunch first <laughs> instead which is the best plan not. So I'm making some scrambled egg cherry tomatoes and shredded spring greens for lunch and then I have a lot to do. I don't know if this vlog is going to be very good because I literally need to edit the declutter video, render that, upload it, do the subtitles for that video which I haven't even done the subtitles for the vlog yet, the last weekend's vlog and I need to go for a shower, do my hair, my makeup. I was going to record videos today but that's just not going to happen. I need to tidy up, clean up, I need to make the dinner at two o'clock. I can't make the dinner at two o'clock. I've got to go to the shop to get stuff to make the dinner at two o'clock. Yeah I've screwed up because if I don't make that at two o'clock then the mince is going to go off. But I don't have any of the other ingredients in the house. I was just at the shop then, I could have got it, but I didn't, which sucks. So basically, today is about a mishmash of things that I am not going to be able to do for the channel and stuff, which is okay. I expected that. So yeah, plus it's my birthday on Monday and it's Caden's birthday on Tuesday. So I need to like, I need to get his birthday stuff planned and ordered. I need to make his cake. Like, the end of March is just not a good time. And then, on top of that, Matt's mum is coming to visit at the start of April during the spring break. <laughs> it's not really a spring break, it's Easter, during Easter. So, I really wanted to participate in, what do you call it? Plain Air Pro this year. But she's going to be here for the majority of April, so I don't know how it's going to work. I'm just panic stations basically, just like so much things to go through, so much things to remember to do. i got to send her a Mother's Day card and before I would be like, oh I'm going to take a day off the gym just so that I could do this, all this and not be stressed. Oh I'm going to skip the gym and then I'll get all this done and then I end up not even doing half the stuff that I need to do. I'm prioritising my gym health over to-dos and errands and stuff. I'm prioritizing that. So we'll see how that goes. Probably means that I'm gonna be mega behind on a lot of things. My kitchen's a mess. Yeah, so basically I just, what I do is I get like kale or spring greens, uh, depending on the season. I think kale's more of a winter slash like, fall thing? I don't know because I've never seen them in the spring slash summer. Anyway, I get these and I fry them until they're a little bit wilted and we have some cherry tomatoes as well, like five or six of those, cut those up into quarters and then I get some scrambled eggs with some oat milk and or some eggs with oat milk and scramble those together with some salt and then I'm gonna scramble all of it together the recipe tells you to scramble it separately so 
move the wilted greens to the side and scramble it. My, my cooker's actually slanted a little bit, so it doesn't matter. I just end up mixing it all in together. You can add cheese to this as well, that works too. But since I'm dairy free, I have the plant menu cheese. So it's fake cheese, and I just sprinkle a little bit of that in. Just a sprinkling, maybe two sprinklings of cheese. Plant-based cheese does not uh, melt as good as normal cheese does. So that's a kind of a bummer, but it's uh, it's all good. This is where I wish that I could see if I'm in focus or in frame or not. But it's fine. So I'm going to mix it all together. Put it on a bit of toast. Full of vitamins and minerals and things. Wholemeal bread really you don't want white bread and this is such a lovely meal and i don't even like tomatoes even if you don't like tomatoes this is all right that's it done doesn't really look that appetizing but it's really good i just received a package from susan and i actually found this funny so like uh this one is for me for my birthday and this one is family treats obviously and then we have these three for Caden's birthday. This one, this one, and this one. And then we've got this random one, which is not Matt's birthday. Matt, LOL, mommy. <laughs> she, um, she thinks LOL means lots of love. It's hilarious. That's really cute. Hi, it's uh, Thursday and it's a uh, no makeup, no hair done day to day. I feel rubbish. I am just back from the gym. I was there for two hours. So even though I felt like rubbish, I still went, which is my new kind of thing. I need to go to the gym whether I feel like rubbish or not. So it did make me feel better, but I still feel a little bit rubbish, not gonna lie. I had my breakfast, the same thing that I had yesterday, and I am currently editing the video that you're watching now. I didn't get the declutter video up, which I'm really sad about. I wish I did, but I didn't. So I'm gonna get that up to maybe next week. I think I might leave it for next week. I don't wanna start putting it up on a different day, especially because these videos go up on a Friday and I want at least a little bit of buffer space for people to be able to watch them, even though I think that they would do well on their own just because they're different videos. I don't know. I need to figure that out, but I can't see right now because I'm blind. Got a lovely birthday card from Susan as well. It's happy birthday on it. Designed by Paper Salad at our studios in Cheshire, England, printed on FSC cer certified board sourced from the Lake District and finished with love and care, Canon and Claire. That's cute. It's like a small business, I think. I might actually have a look at them because it's a cute little hand painted card, which I like. I prefer those, but I'm rubbish. I need to start buying cards from Etsy owners or making my own rather than getting them from Asda because it's much better. Anyway, I'm gonna make myself a cup of coffee. I'm gonna power through today. My legs feel really sore. <laughs> my whole body hurts, but nah, it's fine, it's fine. It's, it's supposed to hurt. It's not supposed to hurt, but yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna go and uh, get some lunch, which is just gonna be some fruit and a coffee. All right, hi. I um, opened the package from Susan for my birthday, even though my birthday's not until next week. But this stinks. Smells like old ladies, but I think it's Iceland Lush. Matt's mum was in Iceland recently on holiday and she brought me back this Ram Ajardin. Ram Ajardin? Ram Ajardin. I don't know, but they're Iceland bath bombs or bath bombs from Iceland, which is really cool. Bath bomb, kelp and Epsom salt pure essential oils. Iceland, www.urd.is. They are so strong and they're pretty cute as well. Oats and Epsom salt pure essential oils. They smell like my grand's house, like what my grand's house used to smell like. Anyway, URD. That's what that is. If I'm gonna look at their website and then I'll put it down in the description below just so you can have a look. But yeah, I'm gonna let you know how this goes and I'm gonna tell you 
if it's better than Lush. Do you think it will be? I don't know. Fun little video thing. Also, you got us these sweets as well from, I'm guessing, Iceland too. Salt Scally Gelatin Fry. So I'm guessing they're like jelly sweets. And they are really bad for you, I think. Sugar, glucose, fructose syrup corn starch, water, ammonium chloride, licorice, salt flavours, colours, E numbers. Okay, so apparently it has zero grams of fat. 81 carbohydrates, Jesus. Of which sugar's 43 per 100 grams. And there's 90 grams in this packet. 323 kcal. Yeah, really bad for you. Anyway, I actually filmed a little segment after I got my jumper where I showed you some vegan snacks. And I think I'm gonna insert that into this video because this video is probably not gonna be as long since um, it's pretty much the end of the road already. I'm gonna let you watch that and then I'll hop back in here afterwards, see how you liked it. You're in the kitchen because I do not eat dairy anymore and I am on a sort of health kick, but I also do like a little munch here and there. So I just wanted to show you some snacks that I love right now. These are the milk bottles. I love a milk bottle. And it's funny because these milk bottles don't actually have milk in them. They're not good for you though, but you know, it's fine. I only have one or two at a time, so there's my two. I've been trying to find the perfect chocolate and I've tried a lot of brands like, this one is Moo Free and it's from Asda. I don't know if it's an Asda brand or if you can get it elsewhere, but it's Moo Free Chalky Bar and it's really nice. This is obviously worse for you than those milk things, but I literally have a square a day. That's why I have so much chocolate, like just hanging around. I don't know what this one is. This one uh, is Grow plant-based eating. This one's really nice. It's really velvety and really smooth, but again, it's not it's not good for you at all. Two squares is like seven point seven grams of sugar and 6.9 grams of fat. Basically, if I had two squares of this, um, half my workout today would have just been null and void. Um, I don't know what this is per two squares, but I think it's a lot less than that one because this one um, is already just 34 for the whole bar. So I don't know. It doesn't have squares though. So I just kind of rip it up. Anyway, this is another thing that I've been loving. These are actually like Ferrero Rochers and they're really good as well. But again, they're just so bad for you. All of this stuff is bad for you, you know, just because it's vegan or dairy free doesn't mean that it's good for you. You get two in a packet and they're really nice, but they are very dirty. So if you're allergic to nuts, this is obviously a bad thing to do, but they have no uh, milk in them, which is funny. I didn't even check because you should check sometimes if you shop in the free from section It'll have free from gluten stuff in it, but not free from dairy stuff in it and it'll have free from uh, Dairy stuff in it, but it'll not have free from gluten. So it has a mixture of things It's not free from everything if you get what I mean So you've got to be careful when you shop in those bits but anyway, what I actually came on here to show you was two exciting things. Well, three, four, five, four exciting things. And um, these are Cadbury Bourneville and Bourneville does not have milk in it. I love dark Bourneville chocolate. I haven't been able to find it in the places that I shop though. But these were in our local Aldi store and I love Aldi. They're just dark chocolate fingers, basically. Mm. That would have been good with coffee, which I have actually got coffee. Oh, by the way, Oreos as well don't have milk in them. Anyway, I was shocked when I looked at these bars of chocolate. By the way, this chocolate stash will last me for at least a month or more. Probably way more than that, actually. Mosser Roth. I got this from Aldi. I think it is an actually... Yeah, it's specially produced for Aldi, so I'm sorry if you don't have an Aldi, but I'm pretty sure Americans have an Aldi as well. Um, they call it Aldi, though. I don't know if it's the same thing. Anyway, this is orange and almond dark chocolate and they come in five indi individually wrapped bars. And this is actually not as bad for you. Um, it has sugar in it though, a lot of sugar. So the whole bar, I'm guessing. It's got three individually wrapped bars, so I'm guessing the bars are quite small. Okay, yeah. So this is per bar, but, oh, five individually wrapped bars. So yeah, 
These are pretty bad. Yeah, that's bad. I don't want to eat these right now because I've just had a lot of... I can't even check to see how much... Well, that was taken off me. Approximately four biscuits. Okay, yeah, that was nothing. That's fine. Okay, so I've got orange and almond. I'll keep you updated on what this tastes like, but I'm guessing it'll be good because any of this chocolate is really good. We've got the dark chocolate mint ones and hazelnut, which I was so excited for because hazelnut chocolate is my favourite. It is dark chocolate though, but mostly milk chocolate or milk free chocolate is dark chocolate. This is more milky than dark, but it is darker than normal. And this is the same, it's quite milky. I'll show you it. It's quite milky, but it is dark. Now, I don't know about you, but a lot of people are shocked when they hear that crisps have milk in them. A lot of crisp snacks, um, or chips if you want to call them that. So these are like Matt's and Caden's snacks. I don't really like fiery hot crisps anyway, but just so that you know, they do have whey powder, which is basically milk in them. So we, I can't have these. These, which I'm so gutted about, have milk in them as well. So, so whey powder is quite common in May's snacks. These are okay though, these are tortilla chips. I'm actually quite happy about this because even though these are chilli, I like Doritos and Doritos have milk in them. So usually mostly snacks like this don't have milk in them, but they are terrible for just fat. Crisps are really bad for fat. I so want to eat a packet of these crisps, but is the 128 calories worth it? I don't know, the seven grams of fat, is that worth it? Worth it? This is eight grams of fat, this is worse, and it's got sugar in it. These are better uh, sugar-wise, but these are just terrible for sugar. But I'm gonna treat myself and have them. I hope you enjoyed my little snack adventure. Hi, it's Friday, so that means that this video will be going up today, so I just need to edit this little clip that I'm putting in, but I wanted to say a couple of things first. I did decide to put the declutter video up, so if you wanna go and check that out, I will leave it in the iCards and on the end screen so you can go and see that because I posted it at a weird time so nobody's gonna watch it. <laughs> so if you wanna support me that way, you can go and watch that and uh, I'll see you next week. I hope you enjoyed. Bye.